Good day. My name is David Wild, and this is the third part of a three-part lecture on Chapter 1, What is Management, from Connect Master Management 2.0. Managerial Expertise. As with any other profession, you will need to spend time, effort, and practice to fully master the art of management. There is no one universal method or direction for everyone. Each person must determine how they will capitalize on their personal strengths and minimize their weaknesses in order to hone and perfect their managerial skills. There are two major ways in which one can actually acquire managerial ability, experience and education. Although both are necessary to, to be respected and successful in the management field, Due to time constraints, many aspiring managers tend to focus on one at the expense of the other. Obviously, a combination of experience and education is optimal. However, you can gain experience in a much shorter period of time than it takes you to get a college degree. Therefore, unless you have at least four to six years in the future to attend a university, while you work as a manager, pay bills, and start a family, from a practical standpoint, it makes sense to pursue the educational path of this journey first. So in summary, a management career can span numerous industries, and you are expected to gain managerial expertise through both education and experience. Once this is done, you can quickly climb the career ladder if you are able to demonstrate your value to the organization. Next, how do you assess a manager's value? By getting the most out of people and influencing how subordinates manage the organization's resources, as a manager, you are not only performing your job, you are creating value. Successful managers are very aware of their strengths and how these strengths create value for the organization. If you are able to quantify and tangibly link this value to the organization's attainment of its goals, you can easily illustrate your worth as a manager. Your worth to your current organization as a successful manager will positively affect your financial compensation, evaluation, promotion, and status within the company, and possibly within the industry in which you work. A successful managerial career will also give you the ultimate gifts, freedom and opportunity. If you are able to conclusively show that you help to increase the profitability of a department, a division, or an entire organization, you will find numerous employers bidding for your services on the open market. So in summary, managers are evaluated on how well they contribute to the organization's overall success. These managerial contributions may include increasing sales and profitability, finding creative solutions to business challenges, motivating subordinates to achieve department and organizational goals, and developing future organizational leaders. Your worth to your current organization as, as a successful manager will positively affect your financial compensation, your evaluation, your promotion, and your status within the company and possibly within the industry in which you work. A successful managerial career will give you both freedom and opportunity. If you are able to conclusively show that you help to increase the profitability of a department, a division, or an entire organization, you will find numerous employers bidding for your services on the open market. Finally, let's talk about a career in management. A career is defined as the jobs that people hold during their professional lifetime. As individuals become successful at their current job, they are usually promoted or courted by other organizations to fill higher level positions. Each position is seen as a stepping stone to the next position, unless an individual completely changes careers. This is also referred to as a career ladder. A career in management can span just about any industry or field. Although each field may be quite distinct, there is a lot of commonality in what managers do across industries, whether it's directing people or budgets, 
formulating strategies or schedules, or hitting sales targets or deadlines. The basic duties of a manager's job across various industries are quite similar. Why studying management is important. If you excel in your job, you'll most likely be recognized and asked to manage others. Also, at any level in any organization, you yourself will be managed. Understanding what drives your manager's actions, thoughts, and decisions will help your relationships with your supervisors and performance evaluations over the course of your career. Finally, as you explore the field of management, you may also determine if this is a suitable career choice for your own future. In addition, by exploring the theoretical aspects of management, you will build a strong foundation you can rely on and further develop throughout your career. You will also discover that management is a relatively young field that is based on an interdisciplinary foundation. This means that management borrows many of its fundamental theories, principles, and frameworks from many other disciplines. A manager's position is truly what you make of it, and you will get out of it pretty much what you invest into it. Your investment comes in the form of the time and effort required to perform the job at its highest level. You also financially invest in yourself as you pursue the education necessary to develop your management skills. As long as you interact with other people in your organization, you will always benefit from studying the discipline of management. So in summary, studying management will help you lay a broad-based interdisciplinary foundation upon which you can build your professional career. At work, showcasing your technical skills may help you get your first promotion into management. At any level in an organization, you will be managed. Understanding what drives your manager's thoughts, actions, and decisions can only help your supervisory relationships and performance evaluations over the course of your career. As you explore the field of management, you may also determine if this is a suitable career choice for your own future. Many people search for an interesting and satisfying career where they can have an impact on society while being compensated fairly for their efforts. A management career easily meets these requirements. And with that, we conclude the lecture on Chapter 1, What is Management, from Connect Ma Master Management 2.0. Thank you.